All right, to talk about the request, we're going back a little away from the World Bank meeting with President Tinubu to talk about the situation in Niger Republic and the request by Nigeria's president to send military um, the, um, in intervention. To discuss this, we are joined by Tony Ofoyeto, Director General, International Institute of Professional Security. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ofoyeto, for joining us on Nigeria tonight. And let's get the view, your view, rather, on ECOWAS' decision under the leadership of President Tinubu as it regards the coup last week in the Niger Republic. Uh, well, let, let me start by saying that um, a coup in contemporary politics and uh, governance is a no-no. Um, the world has uh, come to embrace democracy in its totality. So to that extent, I am sure that um, any country that is talking about coup d'etat uh, may not have a good patronage from any of the regions. Uh, but having said so, there are also peculiarities in the Niger political setting um, to the extent that, um, for me, uh, the federal government and ECOWAS had to be very careful uh, not to be used as pawn. You see what is happening in Ukraine today, uh, where Western world are fighting Russia through Ukraine. Uh, we don't want a situation where such would happen. Uh, the strategic location of um, Niger Republic to Nigeria is very strategic. And uh, anything that has to do with war and military intervention there will definitely snowball into Nigeria. And that is why we have to be very, very careful when it comes to military option. Military option naturally should be the very, very last option. Don't forget that we have a lot of ties in terms of um, businesses, commerce with Niger. Uh, we supply them uh, electricity and don't also forget that there's also the project of the gas pipeline of about 30 billion cubits moving from Nigeria through Niger down to Morocco, uh, which is also one of the uh, ways through which America, Britain and the like want to see how they will be able to uh, reduce their dependence on Russia in terms of the supply of gas in that region. So knowing full well some of these things, and also the relationship between Niger and France that has not been a very cordial one. And as far as they are concerned, they are looking at a situation where they want to severe all financial and diplomatic ties with, or say, let me say, economic independence from uh, France as it were. Now that means that uh, the, the president, who is also the chairman of ECOWAS, have to be very strategic so that no Western world, no developed world, is using the African nation to fight against the African nation. Uh, and of course, that, of course, we will become the very victim of the whole situation. So it is imperative that strategically, uh, it, it's always better to look at all other options but military or um, Doctor, before I come to ask about the decision at the National Assembly that needs to be made, I, I'd Options. like to say that um, the, the dialogue... Is also a type of governance they want. Can, can you hear me, sir? I, I wanted yes, to, I can hear you. Yes, you, you said dialogue is an option to be explored, but dialogue has been tried, albeit uh, there is still tension with the ultimatum to restore uh, constitutional leadership within days. Almost everyone like yourself is advising against the use of force um when they're not talking so how do you dialogue with people who don't seem to uh, well, want that, to that, do even it? if you go to even if you go to the battlefield i i can hear you i said even if you go to the battlefield you will still come back to the dialogue table at the end of the day so why don't you directly uh, avail yourself of the option of dialogue and it is uh it's an it's a sovereign nation on its own if the Nigerians feel very strongly that we are okay with this system of government, who, the, who are we, for goodness sake, to be saying that this should be it? They have a right. Uh, they also know what to do if they don't want such military junta to be in charge of their governance there. 
So for us to want to forcefully go into another man's country and or turn their own decision, whatever, I, I think we should really uh, have a second look at it because it may not be the very, very best option. Don't forget I mean, that Nigeria were prosecuting our indigenous war against terrorism. Boko Haram is there, banditry are there. We have a lot of internal crisis among ourselves. I'm definitely, not sure we're we not, want there to is add crisis this. everywhere, doctor. But whether we like it or not, the ECOWAS leaders have met and they have discussed. And of that decision, uh, President Tinubu has now written to the Senate. In your expert opinion, should the Senate go ahead and give consent to the request? Because there are a couple of issues that, aside from military deployment, he's also talking about sensitizing people for the reasons uh, for the decision that he has taken. Should the National Assembly go ahead and give their consent? And on the other hand, do you think that the National Assembly will give consent? I, I don't want to believe that the National Assembly will give consent because you are talking of military operation. It will, it will um, you know, dip into our pockets uh, very badly when we in a precarious financial situation in this country as it were. So it's not just an equus prosecuting the war. Don't forget the Nigerian role in Liberia and, of course, in other African countries when it comes to prosecution. Um, I, I think the network has interrupted Mr. Ofoyeto. Mr. Ofoyeto, Dr. Ofoyeto, I beg your pardon. If you can hear me, um, can you acknowledge? Um, you seem, okay, can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay, you, yes, the yes, network I can interrupted hear you. you. I don't know if you've been hearing me. Yeah. Uh, we missed you uh, at some point. Uh, but just to... Um, yes. Uh, just, to move, move, just to move ahead, uh, really, I, I want to ask, since there is insistence on military engagement, what are the chances of success? And looking at the scenario that we have, is Nigeria going to be leading the charge? If so, which other countries, to your knowledge, will become part of the military uh, deployment going to uh, Niger Republic. Are there any other countries that are currently asking their National Assembly for similar uh, consent like Tinubu is requesting? Uh, I, I think uh, Senegal had already volunteered that uh, once there's an approval, they will be ready to supply military support. And I'm sure that uh, Benin Republic will also do that. I am not very sure of Ghana. Ghana is, um, Ghana is not the type of country that jumps into such operation at all, at least not at an initial stage. And don't forget that Burkina Faso, Mali are all in support of Niger. And I can also assure you that Russia is going to give its own strategic support to uh, Niger 